Hello lovelies, it's G here from Golden Thread Tarot. How are you doing today? I'm here to bring you another channel message. I hope this message is around you blessed and full of abundance. As always, my sweets. Okay. Thank you everyone for being here. Um, thank you everyone who hits the like button, who donates, who just subscribes, who's here for the channel. I really appreciate the energy exchange. Thank you so much, lovelies. Hello to all my new and my old subscribers alike. Thank you guys for being here and showing support and love. I really appreciate you guys. Okay. So today, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be doing a twin flame or a divine feminine, divine masculine energy check-in today. Usually, I haven't done my in a while usually I kind of separate them out but however I felt like combining them spirit guided me to combine them in this reading and kind of give you a little energy of both how the energies are playing back and forth with each other so I have two different tarot decks okay we're going to be using the Rider Way for the Divine Feminine, and we're going to be using the Smith Wyatt Tarot, the Border Suggestion for the Divine Masculine, okay? Then we're also going to be using some of my Oracle cards that I have, messages from the Divine Masculine, messages from the Divine Feminine, as well as kind of just the energy and how it's playing back and forth with both on this whole journey together, all right? Um... If you were drawn to this reading, you were drawn to this reading for a reason. There is something in here for you, so... Listen for what resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate for you, please don't take it. it does, this just might not be your video. I have plenty of other videos um, where the energy might resonate more closely for you. So don't force it, okay? Leave it for somebody else. Uh, who are we going to go with first? Okay, Divine Masculine Spirit says. All right, so let's get into pulling some tarot. Oh, hello. Immediately, the Divine Masculine is my energy is here. Hello, yes. Okay, <laughs> Emperor Energy. So this Divine Masculine, although... They have been facing some issues in their life. Although they have been facing some obstacles, they are in a very like slow, methodical, like I'm going to do this. <laughs> I am 100% going to do this. Um, it might take me a little bit of time. Um, I feel like this divine masculine is a divine masculine that likes to kind of put their feelers out there, know what's really going on in a situation. In the past, this Divine Masculine might have been really facing some control issues, okay, that they might have had with, this, with their own internal masculine energy, with their own shadow energy that they were kind of dealing with throughout this whole journey, okay? But I want to tell you something, and I was feeling this energy, okay, and I just looked down and saw what card ended up in the, in the you know, in the bottom of my beloved uh, Twin Flame Messages deck, and it's Union. Because that's what I was feeling. I was like, why are you are you doing the whole, like, combining them together? I'm really feeling like Union is coming. Um, yeah, this Divine Masculine is in their mind. Um, they could also be, um, they could have air and fire very prominently in their chart, or they could just be having a very kind of explosive energy not in a bad way but in a good way i feel like that's that's happening with their energy right now okay they want me to go ahead and pull this okay in the past they definitely were dealing with some issues where they were put in a, some karmic situations so that they could see things from a different perspective okay they needed to be put in a situation where they would really get into their mind not in a negative way but get into their mind and really get into their thought process and really think so they can know what they really want who they really want to be what they stand up for who they really are right and the divine masculine is saying that with this divine okay thank you spirit my gosh okay nine of wands they have really been experiencing some karmic lessons and they are learning their lessons okay and this divine masculine is saying that as they're doing this, okay, you're, you know, you're pulling me towards you is what they're saying to the divine feminine. They're like, uh, yeah, as we both go on, I feel you healing. I feel me healing. I feel us coming together closer to union. Like, wow. Like, wow. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. <laughs> so this divine masculine, they know what they want. They know what they want. They're in their divine masculine energy. They know what they want. They, they. Um, they know that they have their sights set on a particular divine feminine or if they, you know, um, I'm also getting that it, that energy is kind of split up. Some of you have already met and some of you haven't. That's, that's what I'm getting. Some of you have met and some of you haven't. And uh, is this divine masculine? They know, right? They're, they are taking a step back. They are taking a step back letting go of this control issues that they've been dealing with in the past and kind of just letting it be what it is. I'm surrendering to the divine plan. I've been healing. I've been resting. I've been taking care of myself. And now I really know. I just want to be happy. I want to feel happiness. I want this emotional satisfaction. There is a divine masculine here who has decided 
no matter what's going on in their life, they want to go towards their happiness. Exactly. They want a brand new beginning and they're willing to take these kind of calculated risks to get there. They're ready when, when the divine is going to put this opportunity in their face, they're going to take that leap. They're going to take, they're going to trust themselves and trust the divine plan and just go with it. How else is the divine masculine feeling right now? Yeah. <laughs> Um, so something really nice has been happening for the divine masculine with this nine of cups here, sorry. And they have received a divine gift or divine blessing. Something has really like put a pep in their step here recently. They have really figured out what they really want and they have made a plan and they're in the process of really manifesting that in for themselves. Okay. Here, they know what they want. They want union. Okay. Uh, six of cups. Uh, they want to be with the divine feminine. They want to be with a person like their divine feminine. They want to be with their divine feminine. They want you divine feminine or, you know, divine masculine. You want, the, you want your divine feminine. You want to be with them. You know what's going to make you happy and you're not afraid to work for it. In the past, I'm really feeling like, yeah, it's kind of this feeling of, okay, with this five of pentacles, I'm getting, I'm willing to sacrifice. There are things that I'm willing to leave out in the cold. There are things that I'm willing to give up, right? Um, I'm also getting here that this divine masculine in the past might have been more focused on money or might have been focused on material wealth or, or material gains. And now um, they are more focused on what makes me happy. They're not as focused on, well, you know, what job, what life path, what person is going to make me look good, is going to get me approval from my family. And they're more like, who's going to make me happy? Who's going to make me feel satisfied? What's going to make me have that, that full feeling of I am fulfilling my dreams. I am fulfilling myself. I'm fulfilling that mission. That is what this divine masculine is chasing after now. And they, and that it's like an internal chase, right? They're going inside and really being like chasing after who am I? What am I doing? And this is opening up so many doors ways, including doorways of communication between them and their divine feminine, okay? As well as a lot of opportunities coming in for this divine masculine. This divine masculine has experienced a really divine blessing that has showed up in their life really recently and they are just running with it they're like oh my gosh this is so amazing like yes i'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel i it's like they they've hit that turn where they're kind of they've definitely they're definitely coming out of that dark night energy and they're they've hit that turn where they're like okay they've gotten that inspiration they're showing me the ace of wands they've gotten that inspiration that has really guided them to go forward um yeah, there's something here where it's like, yo, like I'm willing to fight for this with this five of pentacles. I'm willing to fight for this. I'm willing to put in the work. I am willing to sacrifice something. I'm willing to let go of some things in my life. I'm willing to say, hey, you know, I might have had to give up five pentacles, but at least I have five pentacles left and I'm going to ride this five of pentacles until the wheels falls off and I'm going to do whatever I need to do. Like this person is really following their divine life path right now. <laughs> Spirit said, finally, <laughs> not trying to be any shade, no shade, no shade, but yes, um, if this divine masculine, if you heard other people say this divine masculine was really trying to get out of a codependent situation, especially with like a third party situation, whether or not that was work, whether or not it was an actual romantic relationship, whether it was friends, family, whatever it is, this divine masculine has separated themselves. They've cut the cords from, from these energies in their life and they are building up this, this really good amount of wealth for themselves it's like finally right that that will happen when you come to that moment and spirit has been telling you you need to cut this out you need to cut this out you need to cut this out like please you need to cut this out this is what's slowing you down and they finally said okay i'll cut it out and let me see what happens and then all of a sudden all these opportunities all this money all this energy just flowing into them all the things that, it ha that the universe has kind of been not i don't want to say holding back but it's really been them holding themselves back from really gaining what they really needed and what they really wanted boom here it all comes in rushing in and this divine mask comes like whoa like okay that's all i needed to do and they're like oh, okay it was totally worth it what they are recovering from a betrayal that's happened to them okay and i think they're on the they're on the upside of the recovery right they're like okay i sat in it i cried about it i was really upset about it i was kind of in my dark moment about it but now i'm in the, in a sense of you know they're at that 10 it's like okay it's time to start over it's time to start a new cycle it's time to get in a new place and there it is there's that there's that divine blessing okay there is that divine blessing i found my strength right whatever this 
tower was, whatever needed to happen, it's not being rebuilt, right? It's like, no, it's over. It's done. I'm done with it. And yeah, and it's lighting a fire under their ass. That's what I'm hearing. It's lighting a fire under them to really, to really get some shit done. Okay. Tell me more about this, um, this nine of cups since you want to talk about it, spirit. What's going on here with that? Okay. Okay. Seven of Cups. Okay. Queen of Cups. And that's so funny too because on the back of the deck, chill out. Y'all are marrying each other so much. Okay. These two people are married to. Uh, <laughs> I was saying with the Seven of Cups, it's funny that that energy is kind of coming in in the Seven of Cups here with the person that they're in love with or this, this feminine energy that they have so much love and connection with they feel these really deep emotions and they're really opening up it's like all these memories all these past life memories all these past life connections of all these different cups of love and i'm really getting here because uh, i'm not getting like a whole bunch of different options as in like oh it could be this person it could be that person they really whittled those options down it's not really like that um I'm really getting here so many emotions and so so if the two of you have had a relationship together in the past and you went through a separation or if you have had some kind of interactions with each other they are reminiscing back on those emotions or on or on the on those feelings, on those memories. And they're looking back being like, I really, this is how I felt. This is what I should have gathered from all these different cups. Also, they're also reminiscing on, with that Six of Cups energy as well, they're also reminiscing on past um, past, past lives, but also past in this life, past relations that they've had in this life that have really, they've been like, okay, well, I, I learned this from this person. I learned that I didn't or didn't like that from this person. I learned, and, you know, and all of these different cups coming together has had this person feel like, okay, now I know exactly what I want. I want somebody that does this and does that and does this, or isn't like this or isn't like that. And I like this and I like that. And I want to be this and that. And it's kind of come together in this culmination of um, all their feelings have come to the forefront about this person or the type of person they want to be with. And they're just like, yes, like uh, all, all of this is coming to the forefront. And the reason that I say that's so funny, because here on the back of the fem of the divine feminine, oh my God, you guys, what I just saw on um, the divine feminine, okay, is the seven of cups as well. So this same thing is happening for the divine feminine, okay? And they are really ten of cups. They they know what they want. They know what they want to get, okay? And all this same thing, like all these different cups lining up, is definitely happening for the divine feminine as well, okay? Uh, okay, like I said they know what they want as well it's coming together all these different past relationships they're both there's a lot of marrying energy here and of course like i said a ace of wands was left behind down here they're both getting they're both getting that idea of exactly what they want they want this passionate new beginning with each other and they're both really manifesting that kind of energy you know they're both resonating in a certain energy that's that's magnet you know drawing them in together all right that's so funny okay um the same thing is happening here for for this empress energy okay or for the divine feminine energy they are looking back on past ones and past things that they have been through and being like okay i'm ready for this ten of cups energy i'm ready for my king of cups i know who i really want to i know who i want i know who i really want to be with two of cups right and this union i really feel like is coming <laughs> oh that's so funny all right exactly I, I have I have gone through all of these like that nine of wands. I have gone through all of these karmic lessons. I am ready. I have lived all of uh, all of these experiences. I know what I want. I know what I want. I know who I want. And, you know, I, I, I know. I know what I want. I know who I want. And they're telling me to pull these cards out too for the divine feminine. That's so funny. You guys are hella marrying each other. Like hella, hella marrying each other. There it is again. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. I know what I want, right? And this divine masculine is stepping into their 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 hierophant energy as well. They are accepting. I'm getting that this um 
that this divine masculine is a little bit more traditional in their in their sense of spirituality so they might be a very a, a little more traditionally like a strictly like one religion but that doesn't mean you know i'm not getting supposedly that they're that they're shut down to uh, to dating or being with people who you know it's like no i am christian so you have to be christian too i'm not getting that but it, they are giving me a very like sinking back traditionally into their roots they could be doing some research on their family on what their family um history is is, and they could be kind of getting into things um, that are in their ancestry is, is that's coming up to here and you know and because they have been experiencing all these lessons they are in this mood this mode of kind of like okay I need to calm down I need to I, I need to release I am really you know I'm getting that both I'm gonna say both here the divine feminine and the divine masculine are both in this energy kind of of okay like I know what I want I've gone through all of this now I just I, I want a chill relationship right I want I want a partnership that is a little bit more you know <laughs> a little more chill it, it isn't like a karmic relationship where I'm constantly having to be triggered and I'm constantly having to work and I'm constantly having to fight and I, I it's not what I want anymore okay it's not what I'm into it's not what I want anymore okay absolutely and i'm willing again this divine masculine is very much so in this in this very masculine like stepping forward doing what i need to do i know what i want and i'm going to strive for it and i'm going to get it I'm not you know i'm going to do what i need to do i'm going to do what i need to do to have victory in the situation okay i'm going to do what i need to do to have victory and to get who and what i want okay very interesting Good place right here. All right. Okay. Let's go over to the divine feminine. Divine feminine. There's that ten of pentacles <laughs> we were talking about earlier. Again, again with this marrying energy. With the hang with the hanged man here absolutely the divine feminine has been going through things that have been making them see uh, see things especially around their family especially around the ten of pentacles legacy some uh, they've really been looking at themselves and saying what do i want to leave behind who do i who do i want to be like what type of it, it's given me a very energy of okay I want to change these this dynamics that lie within my family, but you know I want to do this internal work on myself so that I don't pass down the same things to my kids, or I don't pass down the same things, or that it's given me a very lining up um, to present things. Even if this divine feminine is not somebody who really wants to have children, but it's 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 like this and it's it's, it's this energy of excuse me, what do I want to leave behind? Who do I want to be in this lifetime, and what? imprint on on this society on the world do i want to leave behind you know what kind of people do i want to leave behind you know what impact do i want to leave what kind of legacy do i want to leave behind afterwards but it's really about this emotional development so that it's like i don't want to pass on uh i don't want to pass on my ish like my baggage on to the next generation so what do i need to do to kind of alleviate that to uh strip away you know those un those those things that i don't want to give to my kids or i you know i'm also getting here somebody there's something somebody here might be writing a book or like might be um writing a biography or could be it, it's giving me kind of setting up the legacy for the rest of their life and then afterwards after they pass on in this lifetime as well yeah justice so things are definitely balancing out here for the Divine Feminine. Let's get more of this energy. What energy is the Divine Feminine in right now, please, Spirit? Okay. Yeah, they're starting a new journey. Spirit wants me to shuffle again. Thank you. Okay. Two of Wands. So absolutely, they are looking. I really feel like this Divine Feminine is going through a timeline shift. They're really looking forward into the future and they are finding a new path and a new way forward to, you know, it's kind of like looking at that, like, right? Look at that person holding the world in their hand. Like, what, what do I really want to leave behind? What world do I want to create for myself? What's going to give me this happiness 
you know, this overall happiness that I'm really searching for. What is it out there? What out there in the world? What is it inside of me that's really going to connect, right? To my ultimate satisfaction and my ultimate happiness. It's gonna what's gonna give me this ten of cups energy. You know, it's it's searching for that. It's like, yes, and along the way, I want to find a person who resonates with what I've really been needing and what I've really wanted as well. But it's also about, you know, I really feel like the divine feminine also is really is thinking as far as far as is thinking along the lines of what kind of partner do I really want to have children with? What kind of person do I really want to pair with? What legacy will the the pairing of what legacy will this union leave behind? That's something that's really resonating really deeply with the feminine right now. It's a lot of energy of what, you know, I really have a set thing. I want my family to be like this. I want it to feel like this. I want it, you know, I don't want it to feel like it was in my childhood. I don't want it. It's, it's very separating themselves. It's breaking out of these you know, these generational toxic mindsets, breaking out of these generational curses, if that's, you know, the term you're more familiar with. Yeah, but it's like breaking out of these toxic generational mindsets, breaking out of childhood trauma, you know, facing their shadow self, inner, 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 um, intermingling with that and accepting all parts of themselves and all parts of their being and, and seeing like, who do I really want to be into the future? Who's going to make, you know, how is, I want to be somebody that I am proud to be. I want to pass down a legacy that is, that is fulfilling to me. What's going to give me that? Okay. King of Wands. Very interesting. Yeah. The chariot on the back. So this divine feminine is feeling very much so... <laughs> okay, so this, this divine fem feminine might be feeling very much so in there from manifesting very much so out of their sexual energy is what I'm getting from this. They're feeling very randy. They're feeling very like, mm, I want somebody to be with, but they're also feeling very much so like I need to get up and go. Like I need to get up. I need to go. That's the energy that I'm getting from this from this King of Wands energy is I need to step. I need to activate my masculine energy and activate that get up and go energy. Again, with this, I need to be willing. I need to be willing to do what I need to do to get what I want. So interesting that they're both that both the divine feminine and the divine masculine are both wanting that ten of cups energy. But they are coming at it from like two different perspectives. The feminine is coming at it from like this is out there, so all I have to do is search for it. All I have to do is find it. All I have to do is is um, find that timeline where I have what I want and then kind of, you know, like leap to it or kind of draw it into me, right? Align with whatever I want out there, whatever new pathway I want, it's out there and all I have to do is align with it. And the divine masculine is very much so like, I want this and I'm willing, and this is what I'm willing to sacrifice for it. It's interesting. It's a different energy, you know, but it's, it, it, it's just a difference in how they see, you know, finding a solution to an issue. And again, again. <laughs> so it's like, sorry about that. But it is, it's like, how do I find this? It's, it, it, it's interesting to see how the two different people find solutions to, to the same issue or the same problem that they're looking for. I am getting here that the divine feminine is, because the empress did not come out, I'm getting that the divine feminine is having a hard time stepping into their empress energy. The, the divine feminine spirit is saying might be concentrating a little bit too much on finding a partner. I'm telling you, it's the same energies coming out in both these decks for both of them. 
So Spirit is saying, hey, get more of into this Four of Swords energy where the Divine Feminine is stepping back in this relax, this relaxing, this energy, this uh, allowing it to come. Just allow it to come. Yeah. Um, and it's going to sneak up. It's going to sneak up. Sorry. It's going to sneak up. Um, and Spirit is trying to say, hey, it's okay. Like, it's going to come. It's going to be presented to you. It, an opportunity is coming towards this divine feminine energy. So it's like, hey, um, Spirit is saying that you might be trying to find a way to sneak around getting into this Four of Swords energy of just surrender and letting it go. Like, there is this energy of, excuse me, having to work a little bit more on releasing and letting go and just kind of being like, okay, I'm just going to let it come to me, okay? So I feel like that's what the Divine Feminine needs to be working on right now, or that's what Spirit is saying the Divine Feminine is working on right now. But there's so much marrying energy. As you guys can see, two different decks, same cards coming out on both sides. So there is a lot of marrying energy here between the two of you. It's just different stories. It's the same energy playing out in two different ways. Okay. So what is the energy that's happening right now between the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine? Yeah, Union ended up back on the bottom of the deck. Separation and Union. Wow. Right? Written in the stars is the faded connection. So relax. So relax. And there's definitely some inner child healing that's going on here on both sides. So... Two cards, thank you, for the Divine Feminine. Star, enlightenment, you're being guided through signs, messages, and dreams. Listen carefully. Uh, pay attention to the numbers 16, 52, 23, 18, or 20. Any of those numbers might be significant to you, Divine Feminine. So there is this healing energy and this enlightenment and being guided through these signs and symbols and messages, okay? Also, pay attention to your dreams. Really closely, pay attention to your dreams. Um... There's a big psychic connection energy, yeah. Um, there's a lot of healing inner child that's happening here through, like, dream state in the, the, the higher realms, okay, while you're asleep, Divine Feminine, or while the Divine Feminine is sleeping. Thank you. Yeah, in the fifth dimension. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. There is a connection beyond the physical. You are connected in the 5D higher self union, psychic connection on the bottom. So there is a lot of psychic connection. I also think that the divine feminine is trying to psychically reach out or they could be working on. I'm also getting that, that the, that the emperor, that the emperor energy here, the divine masculine energy is a little bit more about reaching out psychically um, to this divine feminine and the divine feminine is working on opening up those connections, working on trust, working on the, the connection, feeling comfortable. It's like feeling comfortable connecting to the emperor energy. Okay. Can I get two cards here? Thank you for the divine masculine full moon, the completion Okay. Like I said before, with that ten of swords, right? The completion, the end of a cycle, ready to move on. Draw from the power of the climates, go bathe in the light and embrace the night, release and give back in gratitude. So that's absolutely what the divine masculine is doing, is releasing and letting go of whatever it is they need to let go of so that they can come into this, this union here. Another card, please, for the divine masculine. Thank you. Dreams. What did I say? What did I say? Yes. They are trying to tell you something. Think about keeping a dream journal. I'm dreaming of you. Yeah. So there is this energy here of releasing through dream. That's happening for both. Of, for both. Okay. There's a lot of healing energy and a lot of energy exchange happening in the dream state here. Okay. Soul tribe. Call in your soul tribe. They're here in the third and fifth dimensions to help you so there's definitely spirit guides are saying here that they're connecting these two in their dream state um and doing a lot of inner child healing through both of their dreams right now magician absolutely you are connected to elemental ma magic manifest the reality that you seek one more about the energy between the two of them spirit please 
they're both manifest you're both manifesting each other yeah manifesting new beginnings as well right a new start is coming stay positive and open and be open-minded to all the possibilities the universe has in store for you and of course like i said a lot of that inner child healing energy is happening between the two of them as well wow interesting Okay, Spirit's saying they want to pull two more cards for this fight. Yeah, shadow work. There's a lot of shadow work, like I said, being done here. What else about the energy that's happening between these two, the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine right now, please, Spirit? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Life's purpose. So, yes, like I said earlier... They're definitely both getting into their life purpose, discovering uh, what, you know, fulfilling those those karmic ties, those karmic connections, those karmic um, soul contracts so that they can get into this life purpose. Um, you're discovering your life's true purpose. You are fulfilling your contracts and healing your trauma. Keep your head up. This path takes time. So, yes, yeah, Spirit is saying keep up. Keep on with what you're doing. It's beautiful. You're, ha you're doing a great job. Okay, yes, and they're both, both of what both of these people are doing, okay, here, what both of these energies are learning is about this, un having this unconditional love so that union can come into alignment, right? True unconditional love uh, requires empathy, uh, patience, and compassion. Learn to have this for yourself as well as your twin. Life is complicated and full of growth. So having the understanding, you know, giving up to divine time, understanding that they both need to have, need to be in, in their energies to, to really help draw in this union between each other okay and again on the back of the on, on, on the back of the deck manifestation everything that the two of these people are going through and they're doing is manifesting this connection okay coming into uh fruition hmm. interesting okay let's pull some channel messages from both okay we're gonna get into the divine masculine first so divine masculine energy in this connection this is your chance step up what do you have to say oh i heard i love you like really strong <laughs> my long lost love i finally found you right so they are definitely sending out a lot of i love the way you smell i love you energy forward really really quickly making room for you in my life so yeah the divine masculine is saying they're making room for this connection in their life you know i am willing to sacrifice what i need to sacrifice you know whether or not that's uh getting rid of bad habits getting rid of you know um codependent relationships facing my trauma facing my childhood issues doing my inner child healing really you know if it's going to therapy if it's you know whatever it is you know, cutting out these bad habits, cutting out addictions, facing themselves, facing what they need to be doing. They're like, I'm, I'm willing to give up what I need to to have this connection because, uh, yeah, it's like this divine masculine has really has had an experience here where they're really, they have, it's, it's like they've gotten a taste of what it would really feel like to be in this connection with the divine feminine and what it would really feel like to be in this love union with the divine feminine. They're just like, I, you know, I'm going to do what I need to do to have this. I don't want to lose this person. I don't want to not, you know, I don't want to miss this person. I don't want to miss this opportunity. This connection challenges my belief. So there is this feeling here with the divine masculine where they're just like, look, like I thought that love was supposed to feel like this and look like this and do this and make you do this. And, you know, it required this and it required that. But th this connection, wanting this connection, really wanting to manifest this connection into being is making me challenge how I saw love. It's making me change my definition of love. I dream of you and me under the stars. Again, this masculine is having a lot of dreams, especially past life dreams. I'm really feeling like where it is um helping them to see the significance of this connection like see you know i was playing mind games okay 
um, this, this divine masculine is saying yes. So if you were in a connection in the past and then you had to leave this divine masculine or they're saying, I, I get it. I was playing mind games. And they're also saying, if this is a person that you haven't come into contact with, they're saying, I was playing mind games with myself. I was playing mind games with other people. I had this belief that love was supposed to do, supposed to be this run, chase after me, trigger, trigger, all this other stuff. I thought that, you know, it wasn't a real relationship if we weren't fighting, if we weren't, you know, if it wasn't hard, if it wasn't all of this, like it's like, this this is my masculine is learning that yes a relationship and a good healthy relationship can just be the two of you just coming together and having a good union and it can just be easy and it can just be simple and it can just feel right and it can just feel good and that's okay you know I, I don't have to play these mind games I don't have to play these controlling games I don't have to do that and I'm realizing that now um, and then some of them are saying you know I'm sorry if they were doing that with you I crave you all the time a lot of them are saying, I'm sorry, too, because they're like, I didn't recognize your worth. I didn't recognize who you were to me. You know, I'm cleansing my energy right now. I'm getting rid of all of these old toxic mindsets that I got, that I picked up from my childhood or from relationships that I've seen or relationships I've been in in the past. And I'm cleansing that energy. You know, I'm cleansing my energy. And I just, I crave you all the time. Uh, I crave this. I crave having you and holding you and being with you and having this relationship with you. Um, this is really what I want. I feel your energy out there and I feel it calling out to me me i feel you you know drawing me into you things were getting messy so i had to take a step back this person is realizing wow i was getting triggered you were getting triggered we were blaming each other projecting all this other ish was happening and it was energetically pushing our you know pushing us away from each other instead of bringing us closer together so you know i had to take a step back i had i had to go inside i had to go in hermit mode things were getting messy with my karmic or with other issues as well if the two of you haven't you know come into union yet to get like physical if you haven't physically met each other yet so this person is just saying like yeah like <laughs> Okay, I literally just said that you're pulling me towards you. Absolutely. So everything, you know, putting down those boundaries and being like, I'm not dealing with a person that acts like this. I'm not doing that. That's really, you know, you gaining and taking back your power in this situation is really making this divine masculine be like, whoa, like I'm really craving this energy. Like, I'm surprised. Yeah, there's something about you that surprises this divine masculine. It was always only you, you're the one. So they're saying, you know, whatever mind games I was playing in the past, whatever, nah, it ain't like that. It was always only you, I crave you all the time, okay? And also, like your stare, your eyes, they captivate me, you know. Can this work? So I was really questioning whether or not this can work. Will you accept me? You know, will, will... This divine masculine is really working on feeling good enough for this connection. You know what that look means. So, you know what that look means. <laughs> you know, you know what those eyes do to me. You know, you know what that stare does to me. You know, you know how I really feel. In the past, I was playing mind games. Maybe I was trying to run away, but I'm not trying to run away from these feelings anymore. I know how I know how I feel. Right? I'm starting to understand this connection. What else does this divine masculine have to say? Okay, it didn't, didn't all the way up. Thank you. Flip them over. Again, take back your power. Like I said, this divine masculine is like, wow, I feel the energy. You know, I feel you taking back your power. I feel like you stepping into, I feel like you stepping into your energy and that's drawing me in. Uh, can you focus on me? I need some attention, but it's also again i'm spending some time alone to grow you know but at the same time right this can you focus on me there's something about that there's something about you pulling back your energy and focusing on yourself that draws this divine masculine really quickly i'm seeing i'm seeing they're showing me that um that night of um swords energy where there is like drawing them in like really really quickly the more you focus on yourself the more this divine masculine it, it, it's just like i, I have to come towards you and it's not like i have to come towards you because you know oh you're not looking at me so you need to look at me it's not that kind of energy i feel inspired by you to be a better me exactly so the more you focus on you, the more this divine masculine focuses on them, the more they focus on your life, the more you focus on your life purpose, the more they focus on their life purpose and vice versa. You two are marrying each other's energy. You guys are, you, you guys' energy is playing off of each other like really strongly. So, you know, that's what's happening right now. Um, Spirit saying two more. Okay. And there's two more. I never thought I'd see you again. So there's some divine masculine here that was just like, wow, I never thought I'd get this opportunity to see you again. I'm getting like a very chance meeting or a very like, wow, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I, I ran into you again. Okay. And yeah, 
yeah, there's something about them getting out there, getting out there and getting active and being out there, putting their energy out there, letting the universe know that and they're also saying this to you, like you do and you do the same good out there, go on dates, go do things like go let the let the universe know i am open and ready for somebody to come in um if you need an energy boost try being more active now i don't feel like this divine masculine is calling you lazy or anything like that but i do feel like it's like if you've been feeling really drained or if you've been feeling this this divine masculine is saying i've gotten up i've gotten more active i'm getting out there more i'm letting the universe know you know i'm going out there and and doing my i'm doing my hobbies and doing things that i find thrilling and happy and it's brought so much more energy and love and light into my life and um, I really feel like your energy has also inspired this divine masculine to do that as well. And they're saying, you know, hey, like if you've been feeling of kind of a lull in energy like I have, this is what really helped me feel a lot better. So, you know, get out there because maybe we'll see each other. Everything I said before was just an excuse. So again, so this divine masculine is saying all the other things that they said before in the past. I was playing mind games. It was just an excuse. I was, I was on some F shit, you know, like I, I wasn't really trying to be about that in the past, but. I'm going to make the sacrifices and do what I need to do to be who I need to be to be in this relationship. Okay. Wow. Getting out of that energy, please bring forward Divine Feminine. What have you got to say? What have you got to say? Ooh, my throat chakra is kind of feeling a little bit less. The Divine Feminine is not, is not, is not a, as much about talking to this Divine Masculine. It's not as open to communication. With this divine masculine is the divine masculine is ready for communication with the divine feminine um i do think they would like to hear from them or they would like to see them they would like to come into contact but there is also this feeling of like am i ready for this that kind of energy so what if, what's the divine feminine got to say here please spirit okay shuffle again yeah so spirit is saying the answer is no spirit is saying like this divine feminine is a, is a little shy and they're a little bit needing to like work on having that belief and that courage inside themselves. Pay attention to red flags, warning signs. So I think this divine feminine is saying like, they're like, I saw a lot of red flags, a lot of warning signs. I saw a lot of things that really pushed me away from this connection or pushed me out of a connection because it was, you know, I felt very triggered. I needed to take some step back. Again, I need to take a step back, just like the divine masculine is saying they need to take a step back. And they're saying, you know, I just, I just needed to take some time to get it together. There were a lot of red flags in my life. I had my own red flags, but I, you know, I... I'm a little shy as to opening back up to this connection because I saw, you know, I saw how many warning flags there were before in this connection or in the past, how energetically I felt really triggered. And they're still a little, they're still a little shy. They're still is not, they're not as open as the divine masculine is about this connection um, or open as open to the connection because of, because of the things that happened in the past, maybe playing those mind games and things. They're a little bit more like, hmm. But they're trying really hard to surrender to the divine. They are trying to to surrender to the divine plan and see, you know, and allow this connection to come back in. They're just working on that. I am following the divine plan. Wow. Okay. The divine feminine said, "Yeah, I said what I said." Okay. <laughs> like I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to to let you to give you the opportunity and to hold the space for you to, you know, come in. And to have, I really feel like the divine feminine is working on their trust issues right now, just in general with being, um, with allowing a person to come in and have that access to them again, because of things that they're healing from in their past. Take a deep breath. It's all coming to you in time. Yeah. So the divine feminine is really trying really hard to be in this, in this mode of, okay, like it's coming, but give me my time. I like, so the divine masculine is very much so like in the situation is definitely flipped, right? The divine feminine is definitely in the runner stage and the divine masculine is definitely in the chasing stage where they're like, okay, I'm here. I'm ready to take this seriously. Uh, please give me a chance. Please let me show you that I, you know, that I take this relationship seriously, that I take us seriously. And I feel like the divine feminine is more in a mode now where they're just kind of like, like, okay, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll give you a chance when I feel like giving you a chance. Okay. So just kind of chill and relax about it. Give me my space and my time. 
Uh, I'm fulfilling my life purpose. Exactly. They're like, okay, I'm focusing on myself. I'm really trying to, I'm really trying to focus on my career, to focus on aligning with what I really want in this world. And if that includes you, great. If it doesn't, <laughs> I'm cool with that too. Okay. <laughs> I am following a new path towards love. So yes, this divine feminine is saying, right? Like I said, with that two of wands, I am following that path. I, I know what I want. I know what I want. If you align to that, that's great, divine masculine. If you don't, I'm, I'm not going to let it stop me from getting what I want. So come and find me. Come and find me out there. If you're really about it, about it, you can show me that you're about it, about it. Okay, like that's what I'm kind of feeling. Like the divine feminine is a little bit less open to this relationship i'm learning to listen to my intuition so they are ooh, i just dropped like the whole stack golly oh my gosh okay now this one I, okay okay <laughs> I'm learning to listen to my intuition. I'm trying to listen to that. This uh, I turn to the sun, moon, and stars for guidance. So the divine feminine also might be studying astrology right now, or you know, it's kind of being really guided emotionally, or you know, they could have been really being really affected by um, like the energy five 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 down on the real time clock right now. Um, there's a lot of changes happening, and that's reminding me of the fifty five that's on the inner inner child healing. I definitely feel like this um, this divine feminine is like really 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 working on their shadow work and their inner child healing and trying to heal a wound of trust of being allowed being able to allow for people to come in which is why i think that they're struggling being in their their empress energy because the empress energy is open and is trusting is understanding that they are manifesting from a place of pure abundance the energy you know that it will always be there and I feel like that's what the Divine Feminine is working on right now. What are we building here, right? The Divine Feminine is asking, what exactly is this? What are we building here? I want to know. <laughs> I want to know and, I, and I, I have a, I am coming into alignment with the Divine Plan. I'm understanding that. But I also understand like I want a certain thing out of my relationships going into the future based on the fact that I'm healing all of these things from the past. So the divine feminine might be feeling a little strict. Okay. They're trying to follow divine plan, but they might be feeling a little strict. They might need to be working on a little bit of trust issues themselves. Okay. There are trust issues and a little bit of uh, control issues. Okay. Between merging, finding that happy medium between what the divine is like, this is what's best. And you know, this is what's best for you. And this is really what I need. You're my inspiration. I'm going to be honest with you. Some divine feminine here are, are kind of being a little bit like, how should you treat me in the past is my inspiration that I don't want that anymore. Okay. Um, three more spirit is saying, okay. And although I'm not saying it's a hundred percent on the divine masculine, I am getting an energy here of like, you know, it's going to be a, a little bit more of an, uh, I kept saying the upswing, right? It's going to be that uphill battle of earning that trust back with the divine feminine. And of course, at the same time, this divine feminine learning to have that trust again within them. I feel your heartbeat. Do you feel mine? So this, this, <laughs> this divine feminine is a little bit anxious. And they're also saying that they are feeling that connection. They are still feeling that connection to the divine masculine and, um, or, they are still feeling a connection to the divine masculine. They are open to it. They're just kind of dealing with some other stuff right now. Okay, that flips, because then it flips right back over. So if it's meant to come out, it will. Can I get two, well, one more now? Um, I remember you from our past lives. So this divine feminine is also having past life regressions, past life memories, past life dreams, um, you know, and... and also, some of the karma, some of the trust issues that they might have uh, towards this uh, divine masculine could also be some past life karma that they're also trying to work through. Like, can I trust this person to do the right thing? Yeah, there is a divine feminine here that's like, can I trust this masculine to do the right thing this time? I choose love. So they are saying in the end, 
this divine feminine is gonna choose love like i do choose love i'm cleansing i'm I, i'm chasing because i need to heal i was chasing in the past i was in my codependent attachment styles because i needed to heal and that's what i need to do right now i'm trying to heal am i open to a relationship yes but also at the same time there are still some things that i need to heal i need to work on getting into my you know my empress energy because there are some trust issues that i have okay that i needed to work through Okay, Spirit wants me to draw from this deck and pull some overall advice. Union, okay, yeah, there's, Spirit, there is a big, okay, inner child healing. There, this inner child healing that they're both doing is doing so much for this union. Is it, 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 It's like out of nowhere, things are just like really speeding up. Karmic cycle. Are you stuck? You hold the power, learn your lesson, and let go of the past. So yeah, so... Both, both of them, I feel like, are, are working really hard to get out of any kind of past karmic cycles that they've been through. And again, in a past karmic cycle that they've been through together, which is learning to have this unconditional love and trust, you know, and understanding that the two of them do have a life purpose together. Pupil. Take this person under your wing. You are here to guide them on their divine path. Be patient and kind. So again, learning to have this patience, this unconditional love, this kindness, this understanding, this uh, like this past karmic cycle that the two of the divine feminine and divine masculine with e with each other and also with other people is here to teach them a lesson. Right? You're here to learn how to guide uh, to guide each other onto your divine path into your life purpose with each other. So. Meditation. So both are being, so whoever you're, whoever you are, uh, you're both being um, asked to go into these guided meditations, to go into this meditation, um, breathe in the love, light, and knowledge of the universe, travel inward, still your mind, and listen to your heart, okay, to bring in um, those, that correct guidance, to listen to your intuition, and to be guided towards your ten of, pin your, your ten of pinnacles, yes, but also your ten of cups, I feel like both have gone through the emotional development in past karmic cycles now that they know what is going to bring them their Ten of Cups as well. You know, um, they're really learning what is, what, they're learning themselves. Know thyself, right? We've been saying that, that Spirit's been bringing that, for, bringing that message forward. Know thyself so that you can let the universe know what you really want. When you spend the time to kind of unlearn all of the limiting beliefs, you can understand what you really want. From your future understanding your past and releasing it okay uh release the past is going to help you bring in what you really want for your future right we'll let you know okay i don't want to i don't want to stop running away from the past i'm going to face it i'm going to purge it i'm going to deal with it i'm going to let go of it right let go of old energies that are keeping you stuck in the past learn from your karma and live in the now right so it's like it's not about what happened in the past it's what about what's the possibility of this moving on into the future third dimension this connection is very physical material so this connection is being manifested into the into this reality into in, in the union like physical union between these two is really really prevalent but it's about how much work and how much healing you've done in each other's you know in the separation from each other forgive forgiveness is key to love empathy and compassion will lead the way anger and pain will only weigh you down ascend so that's what spirit is saying all this forgiving energy and forgiving each other and letting go of what happened in the past between the two of you forgiving all the mind games and all of the the triggering it's all a part of the process right and learning how to let go soul tribe again soul tribe members are here so you guys do have friends family spirit guides that are coming together that are guiding this union uh into the the smoothest transition as possible okay so release and let the divine plan and divine timing of all of this come about when it's supposed to it's all going to come together beautifully uh, have the trust and the faith um, and just you know you know work on what you need to work on whether that be you know um it's like work without distracting yourself from work you know don't run away you know still relax but don't relax so much that you're that it's turning into a distraction work but don't work so much that it's burning you out and turning into a distraction you know um be present in the now be present in and what the reality is moving forward you've done enough uh, spelunking and going through the past and really kind of you know uh, learning what happened in the past and learning what that meant to you with all the seven of cups energy right uh 
you know, member having these, these memories and all of this come up so that you can purge them so that you can let go of them so that you can face them so that you can stop running away from them. You know, but now it's come to really, it's time to let go of this so that you can actually move on and that a beautiful union can happen here. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it gave you the love, light, and clarity that you were looking for in your situation. This was a beautiful reading and I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate it, okay? If this did not resonate with you, I'm so sorry. This might not be your collective. That's okay. That's all right. If this did resonate, for you let me know down in the comment section down below okay thank you guys so much for being here with me today if you like the content give it a like if you're new here and you're not subscribed to the channel think about subscribing and joining the tribe okay thank you guys so very much again all right and i will see you lovelies in the next one bye